Sickle cell disease is an inherited blood disorder that affects millions of people throughout the world, primarily those in Africa and India, and their descendants worldwide, including approximately 100,000 Americans. With no widely available cure and limited treatment options, sickle cell disease is a destructive and painful disease that is a result of a genetic mutation causing a person's body to manufacture abnormally shaped red blood cells that resemble the shape of a crescent or sickle, which is where the disease gets its name. While healthy red blood cells are flexible and can carry oxygen through the smallest blood vessels, sickle cells can't. They're rigid and can get stuck in the vessels, blocking oxygen flow. And for people suffering from sickle cell disease, this lack of oxygen can result in severe pain and infections with devastating complications such as brain injury, organ damage, stroke, and death. She had it so bad where her eyes just rolled up. She was in pain, just screaming, yelling. We didn't know what to do. People with an acute painful episode can have difficulty getting the treatment they need. The challenges are even greater for those living in rural areas. There were times that I spent 10 plus hours before being admitted. As a result, people living with sickle cell disease are not only suffering from a debilitating disease with painful manifestations, they are also suffering from a lack of access to the care and treatments they need. The worst pain of my life. It's time for this to change. It's time that we unite to conquer sickle cell disease. Today, we are issuing a call to action to address the state of sickle cell disease in the United States and around the world. Together, we are working to ensure that people around the world with sickle cell disease are diagnosed and receive the care they need, including the most effective treatments. We are promoting research that will lead to new treatments that can help us continue to improve their quality of life. We are bringing together researchers, clinicians, individuals with sickle cell disease and their families, policymakers and the private sector to focus our collective efforts and make positive change for people with the disease. But we can't do this alone. To truly change the status quo, we need participation from many different groups. Those with sickle cell disease are waiting and their future is in our hands. Please, join us. We must change the course of this disease time is now. For more information, visit scdcoalition.org.